Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Bree wants a treat, can you tell? You wanna see? There they are. Bree, look, velvet, look. Okay, so I'm here and I am gonna be drinking um, iced coffee, so I thought I would tell you guys how I make it. Um, the one that I'm liking the latest, especially for during the day, I usually have a caffeinated cup in the morning, but this Krispy Kreme decaf, you can get it at Kroger. And then um, I add this just Kroger vanilla or pure almond. It just gives it, you know, kind of a nice taste. A little, uh, here's my little coffee area. I have my little Keurigs. And uh, I put this little, these pretty little, um, these little, um, what am I trying to say? Towels, because I think they're really cute, but I usually have my little coffee sign. So this is my little coffee center over there. Okay, so I am going to give the babies a treat. This is their little, I'm kind of showing you into my home here a little bit, but this is their little treat um, area. Because <laughs> there's these little Caesar softies and Newman's own beef jerky and um, the smokehouse chicken chips. So that's all of those. But then inside here, they also have hand baked cookies. Oh, we're out. So we're gonna have to come over here and get the new ones. Okay, so you guys know from the title that um, I'm gonna be talking about something. I don't look great today because I've been working in the yard. I'm gonna continue to because tomorrow I'm gonna chill. Um, but I'm talking to you today about when Mother's Day isn't great for everybody, and sometimes you just gotta be sensitive to that, because um, I'm gonna tell you why. Well, first of all, before I get into it, look at these little cookies, y'all. Aren't they the cutest? They're little puppies. Right, there's one for Velvet, and there's one for Brie. Okay, so the true mommyism that I am is I am my puppy dog's mommy. So I'm gonna take y'all outside with me. I have a little bistro area over here. Y'all seen that I've been carrying my, um, look at this, the, the, hello? Has someone been having fun on the floor? <clears throat> my house is a wreck, y'all. Okay, so this is coming out to my deck. My husband just finished building. Aren't the copper poles cool? And this is my little backyard. Y'all, we're still working on a lot. See that little um, glider back there? If it's gonna repaint it, it's why it's out there. And then this is pretty, pretty, pretty. And there, that's where the glider's gonna go. Oh, and I'm um, doing some tomatoes, growing tomatoes. And I'm gonna be putting some roses, some knockout roses in here. I was gonna cut these down, I decided not to. I'm going to the fountain, I'm begging the fountain. A little iron dog. So it just, it, there's a whole lot of work. There's my husband's green egg that I always tell y'all about. There's the feeders out there and the birdies. Oh, look, there's a robin, okay. And this is a little butterfly garden that I'm building. So it's gonna be pretty, little feeders. So this is my little area to sit. So I'm gonna sit with you guys and talk to you for a minute. And um, so what I wanna talk to you about is Mother's Day and how painful it can be for some people for several reasons. And I'm actually gonna keep this talk to 10 minutes. I wanna start off by saying um, I do not want to take away or sound like a Debbie Downer for people who celebrate Mother's Day and are very excited.